Bonjour Year 11, here's my guide to the new GCSE French speaking exam. Before you go into the exam, you'll be given two cards. You'll then have 12 minutes supervised preparation time where you can prepare notes on these cards. Make sure you make the most of your 12 minutes. Remember that time I met Joey Essex. He was pretty cool. He shook my hand. He said I had swag. Don't forget, there's no word limit on your notes, so feel free to make as many notes as you like. Okay, notes. The first part of the test will be the role play. Now, you won't know exactly what your teacher's going to ask you in this conversation, so look for clues on your card to guide you in what you need to say. When you see this symbol, you'll have to answer a question that you haven't prepared for during your preparation time. And when you see this symbol, you'll have to ask your teacher a question. Now a clue as to the information you need to get in your question is given on the card. The second part of the test is the photo card. During this part you'll be asked questions based around a picture. Now, the first question is always the same. In French it's Qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? What's on the photo? So make sure you've revised vocabulary and phrases to do with describing what's on a picture. Il y a une photo du meilleur footballeur du monde. After this, your teacher will ask you the two other questions that are printed on the card. Once you've answered those, your teacher will ask you further questions that you haven't prepared for in your preparation time. So, make sure you've thought about the sorts of things you might be asked on the same topic, so that this bit doesn't come as a surprise. The final part of the test is the general conversation. During this part, your teacher will ask you questions on the two remaining GCSE topics that haven't been covered in the photo card. So, make sure you've revised and thought about the sorts of questions that you might be asked. It's important here to try to extend your answers. Try your best to reply with sentences rather than just words. Je vais à un grand collège qui s'appelle Oldswater Community College. Mon collège est situé à Penrith, dans le nord-ouest de l'Angleterre. Un collège. You'll also get marked on the variety of your language, so make sure you've used lots of different vocabulary and try and ensure that you've used a range of different tenses. Past tense, j'ai joué au foot. Present tense, je joue au foot. And future tense, je vais jouer au foot. You'll also be given marks for your accent, so try your best to sound French. Bon Dieu! And remember, this isn't a memory test, so if your mind goes blank, just relax, and try and answer the question with a simple sentence. <laughs>